My name is Timon Green and welcome to The Bottom Line, dedicated to maximizing small business profits. What I want to talk about in my first episode of The Bottom Line is a very important topic, taxes. Now taxes is something that every small business is required to do. Um, every small business must prepare a tax return, whether you are a sole proprietorship, partnership, LLC, whatever the case may be for your business, you still have to report business tax returns. Now, just to give you an idea of what I'm going to be focusing on on this channel is QuickBooks. Now, I have been using QuickBooks since 1995 when I graduated high school, and I had the pleasure of learning QuickBooks basically on my own and even taking some courses in QuickBooks to where I am now in teaching QuickBooks and becoming a QuickBooks Pro Advisor. And the thing that I like to say about QuickBooks is QuickBooks is very robust. Um, yes, it's easy to use, but QuickBooks is also a program that's very underutilized. By that, I mean a lot of small business owners use QuickBooks. They use QuickBooks in one aspect of QuickBooks, and therefore they're missing the big part of what QuickBooks can do for your business. Now, this site is not dedicated to selling QuickBooks or marketing QuickBooks, but I do want to show you how QuickBooks is effective because there is a lot of features inside of QuickBooks that can make bookkeeping, financial preparation, and even tax preparation that much more simple. Now, because this is tax time and you see in front of you a Schedule C, the first thing that I want to demonstrate with QuickBooks is when you first purchase QuickBooks, uh, you download the QuickBooks desktop software, or even sign up for a subscription of QuickBooks online. You go through the easy step interview process as it's called and basically after you answer some questions QuickBooks says that you're ready to go and in the case of QuickBooks online it basically says let's dive in. So you think that QuickBooks is ready to use? Well, in so many QuickBooks files from a lot of small business owners that I worked with over my career to know that when you first set up your QuickBooks company file you still have a little bit more things to customize inside of QuickBooks to ensure that it's working properly for you. Now in this demonstration I'm going to show you the key area of how to set up QuickBooks and that's the chart of accounts. Now, if you've ever taken a basic um, accounting or even a bookkeeping course, you'll learn that the chart of accounts is the accounts that basically makes up the accounting system. So all of the transactions that your business involves, such as writing checks for expenses or receiving payments from clients, every one of those expense receipts and every one of those cash receipts represents a special category that quick that you have to have set up in QuickBooks. Now, the biggest myth with QuickBooks is QuickBooks is not used to make tax preparation easy. Um, I don't understand why it's not because you would think that if you're purchasing an accounting software, small business accounting software, that QuickBook that any like small business accounting software will be used at tax time. But a lot of times it's not. So in this demonstration, I'm going to begin to show you an easy way to allow QuickBooks to prepare your tax business taxes quickly, easy, and efficiently. So what we have in front of you is a Schedule C. Now, if you are a small business, such as a sole proprietorship or single member LLC, you have seen this schedule before. So all of those receipts that you take to your tax preparer during tax time, basically what the tax preparer has to do is go through those receipts, no matter how many they are, your tax preparer has to go through those receipts 
and categorize each one of those receipts or even documents according to the categories that's seen here on this Schedule C. So we look at the Schedule C, you have your business information, then part one of the Schedule C represents all of your income that you made throughout the year, and part two are all of the expenses, and you see that everything is categorized. So to let you know about the life of a tax preparer, for small business owners who bring them a bunch of receipts before they can even prepare your tax return they have to sort through all those receipts all right then once they sort through all those receipts they basically have to take all those receipts and categorize them according to these categories that's listed here on this schedule c so you can see that that's very time consuming and it can be very tedious because they have to sort, they have to categorize, and they have to add, which takes plenty of time, which takes a lot of time. So as part of their fee that they're charging you, <laughs> big is sorting because things are out, is out of order. So how could QuickBooks make life easy for not only your business, but for your tax preparer, where it could take them less time to prepare your taxes than they have been doing over the past years so inside of quickbooks all right i'm going to open up quickbooks and if you have seen quickbooks you're very familiar with the home screen so when you set up a new account on your chart of accounts all right if we go down to the chart of accounts notice that everything here in the chart of accounts are categorized according to type of account it is so we saw that on schedule C that all of the income and all of the expense accounts are reported on schedule C so when you set up your QuickBooks company file and this example is of um, a sample company that the chart of accounts is actually prepared for but whenever you set up QuickBooks it's recommended that you set up QuickBooks from scratch because you can customize the chart of accounts according to your business this is what an accountant or a CPA could assist you with in the beginning but just to give you a short demonstration on how to properly set up an account for tax purposes let's say that this law firm has a new type of service that's being offered. So we have legal fees and we have settlement income. So let's say now that they're offering tax preparation fees. So when we click on account in QuickBooks and we open up new, this is where we can go to basically say what type of account that we're setting up. So a law firm offering tax preparation services is considered income so when we click on income QuickBooks always tells us what the categories are so that we're assured that we're grouping everything to the right category inside of QuickBooks but the next part of this setup because what you're doing when you set up a new let's say income account is you're going to be telling QuickBooks right from the start which tax form this is going to be related to so under the account name let's say that this here is tax preparation services so we type in tax preparation services there and now watch this so quickbooks inside of the account setup has this tax line mapping so when we click on tax line mapping notice because of the type of business that we set up that you see schedule C here and you see all of the categories that QuickBooks has so where do these categories come from well if we were to take a look back here at this schedule C notice how under income we have gross receipts or sales here so we were to go back to QuickBooks and take a look at the tax line mapping we see that QuickBooks has in it in there gross receipts or sales so what we're basically saying here is every time we establish 
a new account we're linking the account to the proper tax form so every time we process a transaction inside of QuickBooks more specifically a transaction involving tax preparation services what we're telling QuickBooks is to group everything in Schedule C gross receipts or sales all right so when we save that account we see that tax preparation services are added under income but when we go back and take a look at the account basically this account is set up to be mapped directly with Schedule C you see that yeah so now let's say that we're taking on another expense and hmm what expense could we use here let's say that we're going to be setting up a travel expense but then we want to categorize travel as airfare so if we go and set up that new account all right airfare is going to be considered an expense because it's something that we use throughout the course of business so when we select the expense we see that QuickBooks gives us categories here all right we click on continue and the name of this expense now is going to be airfare but then we can group it as a category or sub account of the parent account which is travel so now when we come under the tax line mapping all right and we want it to group where this account is going to go we see here that we have a category under schedule C for travel so now when we go back and look at schedule C there we have travel there so what are we saying every time we put something in QuickBooks that's related to travel on the tax form that one account is going to be associated with travel so as you can see how what I demonstrated so far is when you set up QuickBooks for the first time and you set up all your accounts in your chart of accounts that tax line feature is there which is basically you telling QuickBooks this is where this is going to be grouped at on the tax form so how does this all work during tax time well in a perfect world if QuickBooks is set up correctly and everything is mapped to the proper tax forms instead of bringing receipts to your tax preparer at tax during tax time with QuickBooks you can actually go into reports under accountant and taxes and you see these features down here where you have income tax preparation and income tax summary if we click on income tax summary and just for demonstration purposes I'm gonna say this tax year this data is not live but if we were to group everything properly in QuickBooks and we have everything mapped to the proper forms you see how QuickBooks basically summarizes everything that's in Schedule C so QuickBooks is telling you right here that this is schedule C and if we go back and take a look at schedule C there's the form right there so QuickBooks is basically saying that this amount right here goes here this amount for advertising goes there so you see how everything is grouped accordingly so all you have to do at tax time with your tax preparer is simply send this as a PDF to them and they have everything categorized they don't need the receipts anymore they could just simply take this report and group everything where it needs to go on Schedule C so that's a feature that QuickBooks is very very proficient in doing is from the time you set it up and you group everything to the proper tax forms 
it'll do all your taxes for you so all you have to do at tax time is send this puppy off to your tax preparer and they don't have to look at a receipt they don't have to look at anything now to take that a step further what if you know how to use taxes do taxes and you purchase Intuit TurboTax or you purchase Intuit Pro Series or Intuit LaCert basically what those Intuit tax products can do is go directly into your QuickBooks file take these categories out of QuickBooks and plop them in the proper place on the tax preparation software just by stroking a button <laughs> so folks this is what makes QuickBooks effective if used properly so you want to take QuickBooks and your bookkeeping seriously because just think about the amount of money that you're saving at tax time if you can just simply take reports like this to your tax preparer and they don't have to go in and sort through tons and tons and tons and tons and tons of receipts and charge you for sorting yes QuickBooks does these things so this is an example of what this channel is going to be dedicated to showing you how to do things efficient using technology technology is available there's people who can help you so if you're using QuickBooks and you're frustrated with it then you should be able to do things like this and make QuickBooks that much effective so if you have any questions about anything I talked about in this demonstration please feel free to subscribe to my channel you can also log into my website www.nagebooktraining.com and just take a look at the services that I offer thanks